we've started the early stages of uh, labor. She started yeah, nesting. Started nesting. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Alright, well, I think it's time. One of Dr. Blue's patients just came in on an emergency. Buttercup has gone into labor early. Since Blue isn't here to perform the C-section, Buttercup is now my patient. Where is everybody? I'm gonna need a hand with okay, this. Okay, I'll be right back. A C-section is always a team effort. You usually need one pair of hands for each puppy. And then I still need somebody in there to monitor the mother. Once we get her down, I wanna get her in there quick. We will have you uh, monitor anesthesia. I'll probably have you guys two out here um, waiting on the puppies. And Nancy, I'll just pass them off to you. You come out here, start recovering. Are you ready, Buttercup? Ready or not, here we go. Let's go ahead and knock her out. All right, Buttercup. Here we go. Ready to go, night night. All right, we're ready to go for surgery. Vitals are good. She's still on three. Once we start, she might wake up a little bit, so just be ready. You might have to turn it up. Man, it's tight. When I opened up the abdomen on Buttercup, it was just really a tight squeeze trying to get that uterus out because it was so large and distended. Yeah, these things are stuck in there. I don't want to. They're all twisted up. They got to be uncomfortable. This is why French Bulldogs can't have puppies naturally. Gee, Lewis. Oh, they're all in one side. Because they were all wedged together on one side, it really made it difficult to pull up. When a mother's having a C-section, she's unable to stimulate those puppies like she would normally if she gave birth on her own. Normally, she's going to tear open the sacs and start licking the puppies to try to stimulate them to start breathing. But she's not able to do that if she's under anesthesia. So we have to kind of intervene and act as the mother until she can. You know, stimulate them, clean them up. See how that's attached in that uterus? So we gotta pull that gently. You don't wanna tear it. Mm -hmm. And leave that in there. Go ahead and bring this one and then come back real quick because it's not gonna take long. All right. Okay. Just make sure they're breathing. So there was three. Jeez, this is the biggest one right here. That's why we couldn't see the other one, probably, because he was so big, he was blocking the, all the room. Big Daddy. All right, Nancy? Yep, come in. That's the big boy. Just make sure there's not anybody hiding in there. How are they doing? I don't hear anybody crying. I think we have one. one that's trying to cry, that one. All right, keep going. So we have to close it up like any other surgery. All right, get them breathing. Yay! <laughs> Starting to thrive a little bit. I hear puppies. That's what I like to hear. Doing a C-section, you want to hear them crying. Just like people, you know, doctors want to hear those babies start crying. It means they're okay. You guys got all of them up and crying? Just one, so one right now. Oh, just one? We get the puppies out. Definitely want to hear them crying as soon as possible. But sometimes it's, you know, it's a few minutes, and those few minutes can really feel like a long time. Hey, Nancy, take a little bit of that Dopram. It's right there on the counter. Put a little drop under the tongue. Dopram is just a respiratory stimulant that we usually just drop a little tiny drop under the tongue of the puppies, and then that will stimulate them to start breathing. Doing any better? All three. OK, cool. Can I see it? Oh, I hear them all. <laughs> 
Now I hear a little symphony going. All right, sounds good. That's what I want to hear. Got some lungs on them. Music to my ears right there. How many boys and how many girls? Two girls, one boy. I got the only boy. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> cutie pie. Welcome to the world. Now I'm going to just get Mama up. She's got a job to do. Dr. Blue's going to be upset. He missed all the fun. Hi, oh, Mommy. Hey, Mama. Hey, look at your babies. Look at your baby. Look at your triplets. Yeah, they look cute. She's like, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> well, you got to wake up so you can take care of them, all right? Aw. Waking up. After a C-section, we want to try to get the mom up and awake as soon as possible so we can get these puppies nursing within a few hours. All right. Let me see these guys. I think mine was trying to nurse on me. Was he? <laughs> favorite girl. Really? That's a girl? Look at the big head. Look at the head on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they look good. Hey. Hey. All right. Everything went well? So you got two healthy little female puppies. So I got two females? Yep. Plus a male. Plus yes. a male? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Big male, too. Oh, nice. 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 So we got three now. So there's for sure three? Definitely three. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Can't wait to meet them. Yeah, come check All them right. out. All right. All right, this way. All right. Look who's here, Buttercup. Oh, my Aww. God. Hey, there she is. We're so excited. We finally got, you know, to see the puppies and we got three healthy ones. Three. three. And he got his <laughs> boy, boy that he wanted. Can't wait to take him home and cuddle them and love them. She did good. good. She's a tramp. She's going to be a good mama. She is. Mm -hmm.